Uh, Dave texted me a couple weeks ago and asked if we were off that week and really conveniently worked out with our schedule that we were. And um, you know, there's no real better way to, to spend our off week than playing something like this. It's uh, sure it means a lot to, to Connor and his family to have an event like this, and I'm glad we can be a part of it. Yeah, no, just uh, you know, it's funny. This week was our off week, and I had made plans to go to Rhode Island just to visit some friends and. You know, just kind of hang low for a little bit and you know Davis texted me about this event and you know it was a pretty easy yes to play in it for sure especially for a cause like this just to bring um, all of us together and play some good golf and enjoy the beautiful weather and you know just, just have a great time out here. A lot of tournament golf, you know, it's not something that we had in amateur golf that you kind of pick your schedule, you play in five tournaments in a summer, but now we're playing stretches with, we're playing 14 tournaments in 15 weeks, so it's a lot, and especially when it's your job, you're trying to make your paychecks, just trying to fund the week. Um, yeah, it's different. It's uh, it's what we always wanted to do, though, and it's there's a lot of a lot of good that comes with it as well. You know, I mean, especially when you're playing well, you know, it's a lot more enjoyable making cuts, you know, contending, and you know, earning nice paychecks for that week. But you know, missing cuts, you know, can get pretty irritating. Um, you can be playing good golf and, and still miss, and it's it can get frustrating. But you just can't beat yourself up too much, especially out there. I mean, any kind of given week, you can put it all together and. Play really well, move up in points, and you know, just you just got to keep pushing through. And you know, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs throughout the season, so you just got to take as many positives as you can uh, each week, and just you just got to keep going. Um, yeah, it's like what you practice really hard for. Um, you got to always remind yourself of that. Um, I feel like we're really close to doing some really good things. Um, but being in contention, it's it's cool. Like there's a lot of people watching on the weekend. It's it's what we've always wanted to do, and um, that's where we're gonna be soon. So. Yeah, no, just playing. You know, making the cuts one thing, but contending. You know, having a chance the last two days or the last day of being in one of the last groups is uh, is kind of what you play for. You know? So. <laughs> yeah, we played plenty of rounds together, so it's obviously really comforting to have someone that you know really well out there. Um, and we've been so close last year to playing together, and it never quite happened. But yeah, it's cool to finish your round and see yourself next to next to each other. Um, always give yourself a good shot of playing together. So that was that was pretty special. Yeah, no, it's it's not often. I mean, we know a lot of the guys out on the tour, but um, it's pretty rare you get to play with like a really really uh, close buddy and stuff. So. You know, when we get the tea time notification that we're paired together, especially in twosomes on the weekend, you know, yeah. it's just, it's just <laughs> us two. It's, it's good, you know, we're rooting for each other, but we're also trying to beat each other. So, you know, it's competitive, but at the same time, like, we're rooting for each other hard. So, it's, it's, it's good. Like, he's got a lot of game. I've never played with him, but I've seen his results, and he's he's definitely played some really good golf the last couple of years, and I'm sure he's going to continue that at Rutgers. Um, it's crazy to think guys are looking up to us because I feel like it was yesterday we were saying that about some of the older guys that we were playing with. So, I don't know, I guess we're just getting old now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, it, was, it doesn't feel too long ago we were, you know, in his age, like at his age, you know, getting ready for school and stuff. So, I mean, the blink of an eye, you know, five, six years goes by really quick. And, uh,